five simple ways to remove background of any picture at all that you want to remove background of right i know you've been using a lot of methods to remove background of pages but you got to go through all these five methods right now i know <laughs> yeah i know the fifth one is what is going to shock you right so without wasting much time let's jump into it so the first one which is the most popular one for for now uh is remove.bg so let's go to let's type remove.bg okay remove.bg when you when you open your browser you just have to type in remove.bg all right so when you get to this website you just have to upload you know your image by tapping on upload then you select one image that you want to use okay so let's say i want to use a particular image i'll just do that quickly okay so once you select the image right once you select the image it will remove it automatically and you just have to tap on download and you'll be able to download your image successfully so that's the first method that you can use the other method is to use stickermool.com right so you tap or uh, you just type stickermool.com it is being highlighted over here right stickermool.com so i'll just tap on it then we go now when you come here you first of all have to create an account with them that's if you're not having an account already you have to create an account with them right after creating an account and you've logged into your uh, dashboard you can come to your tools right so right now let me log in i'm having an account already so i'll just log in with one of my uh, google accounts right so quickly let me do that good so i've successfully logged in so what i have to do right now is to tap on this uh, bar over here at the top left corner here right so once i tap on it i'll just have to scroll down to tools i'll just have to tap on tools after tapping on tools i'll come to trace image right i'll select trace image after that i'll just have to tap on upload a photo and that will be it so uh this one so i'll just pick one image probably the one that i just used okay i'll use the same image for this particular one right so i just picked it up and up i'm uploading the file currently so it's being processed right so let's wait for it as it's processed good so the processing is done what you have to do is to tap on download and you are good to go okay and that is it you are good to go now that's the second method now the third method that we can use okay is also similar to this tool that we use okay so what we are going to do right now is to just uh, type remove uh, background or remove bg all right not dot bg you will not type remove dot bg but just type remove uh, bg or remove background right remove background let's see what will come right so let's scroll down a bit now you see when you tap remove uh, when you type remove background the first search result that pop up is remove.bg because currently it's the most popular one without search results right with that particular search result that's what you're going to see so all that we have to do is to tap uh which is to scroll down a little bit when you scroll down you see this option right uh, adobe spark right you see that from adobe right okay now you, you know we have a lot of them you can use this but i do not plan of talking about this one in this video right and you can use this one too but i not plan about talking or plan of talking about them in this video however they are equally good you can use them right there are a whole lot of them there are tons of them but let's go to the one that we actually want to talk about which is the adobe one so you just uh, tap on it after tapping on it it will load so you just have to you know give it some minutes or seconds to load right i think mine is taking time to load i don't like that okay so i'll just wait for it to load and let's see how it's going to go so when it loads this is going to be the interface all right so what you have to do over here as well is to upload your image right so you tap on upload your photo right so after up after tapping on it you go to the next page all right so over here all that you have to do is what upload your image 
so i'm going to pick the same image that i used recently so let me pick it up quickly okay i got my image right here so i'm uploading it and the background remover is in process so they are refining the edge, edges of the work so this is going to be it and you can see it's pretty much cool right so after this you also have to tap on download and that will be all right so when you download it that is just it okay now the next the next step or the next method that you can use to remove background is to use photo room all right they have both the web version and the application so uh, let's search for the web version and see okay the last time I showed you I showed you how to use the, this one the application so this is the website okay this is the website we have over here photo room okay photo room.com you can go to photo room.com dot uh, forward slash background remover so let me just tap on it right here then we go to photo room.com okay so after here the, the only thing you have to do is to tap on what uh you know start from photo then you upload your image that you want to use so let me quickly grab my image and let's see how it's going to be right so i'm using the same image as well but like i said for photo room when you finish with your work okay when you finish with your work it's it's normally add what it adds watermark to your work so you just have to you know download it and edit with the app so like i said they have the app so this is just a prompt for you to download the app but if you don't use the application that's fine right now the final step which is the fifth step and i said earlier it's going to you know shock you right <laughs> this is it we are going to use puzzle lab to do this one all right we are going to use puzzle lab to do this one but there's one thing that we are going to use so the first thing that we have to do is to go back to remove.bg remove.bg okay this is the first step that we are going to take we upload a video sorry the picture and remove the background of the picture right just like i'm doing right here good then we download it after downloading it okay download complete after downloading it what we have to do is to open our puzzle app okay so let me start afresh from here and delay this now what we have to do is to bring in you know our picture right so i'm bringing the first one here now take note i'll just have to you know position this one at the middle so i'll use the relative position to position it like this and what i'll do is to go ahead and bring in the other layer which you remove the background of this particular one and i'll position it at the middle as well like this now what i'll do is go ahead and hide the first one which is with the background all right i'll just hide it like this now now the, you can see the background that i'm using or the image that i'm using is having kind of white background okay but that shouldn't be a hindrance this method works for all kind of background i thought i you are using it's just unfortunately i'm using an image with a white background if that's been the case then let me change the image quickly all right let me use a different image so uh quickly let me upload a different image good let me use a different image so that you get to grab the whole concept so that in case you are using a different image you will not be facing any challenge right because i want you to see everything so let me pick another image okay i think i'm going to use the one with a kind of orange or yellow background so uh, let me download it after downloading it let me go back to this application and i'm going to delete this and this one so what I'll do is to import, you know, the first one over here, bring it to the middle, like this. After doing this, I'll just have to go ahead, you know, and change the background color. That's if I want to. So after changing my background color, 
I'll have to import a shape, so I'll tap on shapes. Okay. Tap on shapes, increase the size of the shape, then change the color of the shape to let's say black, right? And I'll send it to the back of my image. So I'll make sure I position it well. Now after this, what I have to do next is to select this image, then give it a color. Probably white. I'll give it color white. Okay, like this. So the next thing that I have to do is to merge these two layers. So I'll select them, merge them together. Okay, I hope this is getting interesting, right? So what I have to do is to tap on erase color. So I'll enable it and this is going to happen like this. <laughs> have you all seen this? <laughs> it's, it's, it's just awesome, right? So we increase the smooth edges and stuff just a little bit. Then we go ahead and lock the layer. So after locking it, you bring in the main image which is having the background. So let me pick that up quickly. Good, I have the image here. So I'll position it using the relative position tool just like the previous one we did. After this, I'll position it to the back, right? I'll send it to the back. Now, what you can see over here is that what the image that we just imported is having the person is having a white you know uh dress and our background is is black right so what we have to do probably is to change the color of the top layer all right the top layer which is black we have to change the color of it because the person is having a, a black beard and black phone for that matter we have to change the color to let's say something totally totally different right something way way different okay so i'm just going to change the color to let's say okay i'll use something like this kind of orange yeah i think this is cool Okay, so after this, I'll have to match the two layers. So I'll select this and this, then match them together. And after this, the next thing to do is to go to erase color. And at this point, we have to select the orange. So we pick this color picker, select the orange area, then tap on a check mark. So this is it. This is what is going to happen, right? The background of the image will be removed automatically so let's come to the background and put it on transparency this is what we are going to have right this this is getting interesting i know i know this is getting interesting so after this you can just go ahead and save your work as a png right a png over here save it as a png using ultra okay and by this you are going to have a have a high quality image okay so basically that is it and i thank you so much for watching this video and i hope to see you in the next one Bless up.